I had, um, I'm going to basically go over all the components that make up the backpack head and just go over those in detail. Um, later, I will make a video about the professions and we'll go more into details about that at a different time. Um, so, when you get your backpack or attach your backpack, it will look like this. This box, or not a box, <laughs> but this right here is the backpack head. Um, there is the spell book. This icon image here is the inventory, and then equip, skills, and stats tab. And there are some other components that you can't see at the moment. So first, let's go over the inventory. So we click this icon here, and our backpack head opens up, and you will see your inventory. So if you're a new player, your inventory will most likely be empty unless someone gives you some items and your inventory will get full uh, by picking up working on the professions those are what comes in here um, so on the inventory you can see that this is the all tab so in the all tab you'll see every item you have in your inventory and these arrows here are to switch between the pages and it will keep going until you have no more items and that are not on any pages. Uh, also, if you want to browse by category, you can. So here, this shield is where you would click and you will see all your armors. So every armor that you have, you'll see in here. Armors, you can only have a max of 50 of them in your inventory at the same time because they're heavy items. The jewelry are the same, you can only have a max of 50 of them in your inventory as well. And to see all your jewelries, you will come here. This gem here is where you'll see all your crystals and gemstones. This here, uh, it's ores, when you click it, you'll see all your ores, your ingots, these potion bottles is where you'll see all your alchemy related items, so regents, uh, potions. Here you'll see all your lumberjack related items, so wands, inks, parchments. Um, so let's go back to the alt tab. Um, also, every item in your backpack is clickable, so if I click these nightshades, it'll pop out this menu here. And it tells you the name, the type, and the class. And also it tells you what it is, what it does. Um, in this menu you see track. What track does is if you click track, it will start tracking it here, outside your backpack. And this comes in handy if you don't want to keep your inventory open. So let's close. And you're working on your professions, you can see the item that you're working on here. And how much you have and how much you've gathered. And you can track up to three items at the same time. And if you try to track more than three, it will say you cannot track more than three items. So uh, if you want to untrack something, you just go here and untrack. You press track again and it will untrack. Um, another thing about tracking is if you're tracking items, you can click this eye icon and it will hide them so it will go away and if you want ready to work on it again you can show them so you don't have to untrack them uh, all the time also in this backpack uh, you can assign potions to slots so let's assign click this potion and it will pop up and it has an assign button when you click this, these circles will pop out. It will say pick a slot to assign, so I want to put them here. And so they will show up here. Also on this slot, it tells you this is a greater heal potion, and you see this number 4 here. That 4 is your potion limit that you have left. Um, if you're in a choir that is leveled up enough, you'll have 4. If you're not in a choir that's high enough level, you'll have 3. And you can also buy extra slots with relics.
Um, another thing about these potion slots is you can hide them and show them as well. So here, there's a potion icon. When you click it, it will hide your potion slots and you can show them. So when you're not fighting, you can be able to hide or show. You should hide these when you're not fighting so you don't accidentally waste your potion. And when you're fighting, you can show it back. Um, another thing is give. So this give, there are some items that you can that are tradable. So in order to trade something with someone, they need to be in your radar. So they need to be close to you. And you press give and select their name in the menu that pops up and give them the amount that you want. There's no one near me now, so I won't show you that at the moment. Also, you see there's a delete. Uh, you will not be able to delete anything in your backpack except for armors and jewelries because the backpack can store an unlimited amount of everything except the armors and jewelry. So if you try to delete this, so say you can only delete armors and accessories. So to show you what I mean is if I go to armor, I can click one. And I can delete them. So I click delete. Let me show this. And this will pop up. And you say, Are you sure you want to delete this item? Yes. And so you have successfully deleted the item. Um, also, uh, jewelries are the same. You can delete them as well. Um, these are, the jewelry and the armors are also repairable, which I will go over those in another tutorial when I talk about blacksmithing and jewel crafting. Um, another thing on your backpack is some items are untradeable. So, for example, these relics here, they are untradeable. So, this give button is not there and these stats capsules are not tradable also and some items are usable so like instance these stat reset capsules and also the um, intelligence elixirs and the stone skin potions you click them and use them from within the backpack uh, another thing about the backpack there's a cool feature that if you want to move an item, and let's say I don't want this to be here, I can hold it like this, click, seems my backpack's going crazy, let's see, I think I have to show my UI back, ah there we go, that's because I hid my UI, it was only allowing me to click and not drag. Okay, so to show you, let me put my UI back. Okay, so how this works is you will click on the item and then you'll be able to drag them. Do you see like this? And so if I want to put this here, I can drop it there and it switches places. And I can bring it back here and it switches places. You can also drag these across pages. So you drag it to the edge of the page here, and I can drop it wherever I want, and it will replace. And I can drag it back if I wanted to, and you see that's in place, so I will just drop it there. If you want to disable this drag and drop feature, you just lock it with this lock button, and if you try to drag it, it won't allow you. Okay, I think I can hide my <laughs> UI again. Um, also, this arrow going around in a circle here, this is to refresh your backpack. So, for instance, I don't know, if you lag and you don't see something appearing in your backpack, you can press that and it will refresh. And let's see, was there anything else in the inventory? I think that's all for the inventory itself. Um, so let's go on to the spell book. I will just show you where it is. It's right here. And there are 
three circles of spell in here. I'm gonna make another video about that, so you should watch that video to find out more information about the spell book. Um, for the equip, this is where all your equipped armors will show up. So I currently don't have any equipped items, so let's go back into my inventory and go to armor and let's equip a few so we can see what this looks like. Equip. And you can also equip uh, jewelry. Um, this is a um, when it says that the armor is already equipped in. That means that your backpack is stuck and you should grab a new one. So let me go into my inventory. I'm glad this problem popped up so I can show you what that looks like. Um, let's see, backpack. Okay, I think we can use this one. Okay, I think this one's a fresh backpack. Let's check. Mm, there we go. This one is a fresh backpack. So, whenever you see the issue of when you're trying to equip a jewelry or an armor and it says that it's already equipped that means that the armor is stuck on your actual backpack so you should delete that backpack and get a new backpack from the kiosk so let me attach um, a couple more pieces of armor oh, I have that one okay let me equip a ring and let's go and see what that looks like on the equip page so here you see everything that I equipped will show up in the appropriate slot. You can also click on these in here and you can unequip them from here and click unequip and it will unequip. Also here you see this shield and the number. This is your armor points. So armor points come from um, your armors and your jewelries depending on their bonuses. And down here you see minimum max, that's your minimum damage and your maximum damage that you can do when attacking someone. And uh, you can also unequip these jewelries in here as well. Okay, so let's go see the skills page. On the skills page, this will show you every skill, every profession skill that we have in the system. And next to each of them, it will also show you what your actual percentage is in each of those skills. Now, if you click on them, you'll see that they pop up at the bottom there. And so it says Lumber 100. And if I was near a lumberjacking spawn, I can click this and it will start lumberjacking for me. But I'm not near a spawn at the moment, so it won't lumberjack. <laughs> And you can do the same for any of these, and it will put them there. Uh, also on this bike pack, let's say that I was at the jewel crafting table, and I need to go chisel really fast just so I can get a couple more diamond uh, crystals or something. Or I want, I would just click this button here, this white button. Instead of replacing the jewel crafting at the bottom, I can just click the white button. And, it, and if I'm near a chiseling spawn, and it will automatically start chiseling when I click this button here. So that's a, another handy feature if you want to use that. And then if you click on the same one, it will remove it from the bottom there. And if on these, like you click them to open it, and you can click them to close them as well. And so for the stats page, we have a few things here. Um. We have character stats, and it will show you a photo of yourself if you put a photo there. And these big bold numbers here are the amount of stat points that you have unused. And the used stat points will show in here with these numbers. And their strength, accuracy, and vitality are the current stats that we have. 
In the system at the moment, the max strength is 100, max accuracy is 200, and max vitality is 500. You cannot go over those numbers. So, for instance, I can try, but it won't allow me. Um, also on here, you see achievement points. Um, this shows you your total achievement points from completing achievements. If you click this, it will pop out a little menu like this. There we go. It will pop out a menu like this, and you'll be able to click here, and it will load the page for you. Let me move this bag back up a little bit so you can see everything. Okay, there we go. I think my SL is just going really wonky at the moment. <laughs> I think it doesn't like me very much. Okay, here we go, this is fine. Uh, so in your achievements, you will see your achievements. It will show you achievements in progress. And if I click here. Okay, I need to show my UI so you can see this. Okay, so in here, there we go. Let's see if I hide my UI. It will, oh, I need to show my UI so you can I can be able to move these web pages. Okay, so um, in here you'll see you're in progress, and when you scroll down all the way here, you'll see the ones that you've completed already. It will show you the date and the time that you completed it in SLT. And also, if we go back up here, it will show the overall top 20. So it will show you the top 20 people with the highest achievement points. Um, also here, um, your um, it shows your damage, and it shows the damage for your first attack, minimum, maximum. If you click the arrow here, it will show you your second, your third, and your fourth, right? And it will also show you your armor points here as well. Mm, also, if we go in here, we can see the miscellaneous tab. In the miscellaneous tab, there's nothing there at the moment. I think there's Vincent Vega there, yeah, there you go, there's Vincent Vega hanging out here. Um, in the miscellaneous tab, we will probably put um, some random things not related to these categories. So next, we have um, the relations. In here, um, okay, I need to show this, sorry. Um, so in here, you will be able to see um, uh, all your relationships, who you're partnered with, whenever it loads. I think I should remember if I'm going to record these media uh, things, I should show my... Um, UI. I think my SL just went really wonky. Let's try one of the other pages. Oh, it just popped up. <laughs> okay, and it's gonna go back in because I exit out. I'm so sorry. SL is being so weird at the moment. Um, let's try again. And let's hope it doesn't show up when I decide to go up. Oh, there you go. Okay, so I won't hide my UI for this part. So we can just go through these. Um, so in here, the relations, you'll see your partner, who you're partnered to, the percentage, uh, depending on if you're partnered or not. If you're not partnered with anyone, then you'll just see the people that you have friendships with. Um, next, we have your marketplace. 
which will show you all the marketplace listings. So if you don't want to go to the sim, you can check them out here. But in order to buy them, you need to go to the actual sim. This is just so you can see without having to go to the sim. And then last meditation will show you your last 20 meditation sessions. Um, also, it will show you the date, the time, and how much erg or essence you gain uh, while meditating in those times. Then we have attack logs. In the attack logs, um, it will basically show you all the attacks. Well, not all of them, but your recent attacks. And it will show you how much you attacked for, who you attacked, or if someone attacked you, who attacked you, how much they attacked for, the day and the time that they attacked you. And you can just browse through them here. And if you click on them, it will show you these info like the sim, the skill that they use, your health and their health, and the damage. Uh, also, we have the loyalty tree. In here, it's basically, it will show you yourself and your health and all your general information. And it will also, if you click on like this box, it will show you all your minions and their info. All these things that are in the interactive menu are also in the main AMD website. But we wanted to put these here so when you're in SL you don't have to tab to the website to see things. You can just see them on your HUD if you have your media activated. Um, I think we covered all the basic functions of the backpack head and what everything on the backpack head does. Um, like I said before, I will be making some videos on each profession skill, so I will tell you more information about those in another video. Um, that's about all I have for this video. I think I don't think I have anything else. So I hope this video was at least helpful in explaining um, the backpack hut. And I will see you guys the next time that I make a video.